An Ottawa woman says she's being forced to go to the United States for treatment of Lyme disease because doctors here don't know much about the illness. The disease is caused by a bite from a tick, often found in forested areas. Corey O'Kelly has our story. 38-year-old Heather King has to take this daily cocktail of prescription drugs and vitamins just to survive. She believes she was bitten by a tick three years ago at the Bruce Pitt and was infected with Lyme disease. The chest pain, uh, it, was, it would always feel like I was having a heart attack. Oh, I was scared I was going to die. I, I had no idea what was going on with me. King says it was like living a nightmare. For years, she was crippled with searing pain to her head and neck. Her hands and fingers went numb, and her heart races uncontrollably. Doctors diagnosed her with everything from fibromyalgia to herniated discs to a stress disorder, but not Lyme disease. It wasn't until she got expensive tests from private clinics in Canada and the U.S., that she tested positive for the disease. Even then, her doctors dismissed the results. When I called her to tell her this is what my test actually says, she called me back the next day saying, you don't have Lyme disease. Carolyn Pym, the city's associate medical officer of health, says 10 cases of Lyme disease were reported in Ottawa last year. Lyme disease can be difficult to diagnose. Uh, it, uh, in the early stages, the, the blood test can be, uh, can be negative, and the symptoms in the early phases are, are, are very similar to many other diseases, so uh, it's very likely that it's underreported. King will be traveling to New York State for treatment by a Lyme disease specialist, but it will cost as much as $10,000. Her friend and shoulder to lean on, Christy Lockhart, has started an online fundraising campaign to help with costs. She's driven by frustration not understanding why people, why doctors won't help, why, why won't they help my best friend? Heather King hopes to begin her treatments in September. Corio Kelly, CBC News, Ottawa.